That is how the world looks right now. now. According to an estimate, more than 3 billion people in the world have been ordered to stay at home. 3 billion, that's more than 43% of the global population. Almost one in two people are under a lockdown. On this show, we've repeatedly blamed China for this pandemic. The fact that China tried to cover up the outbreak is now a matter of public record. Many of you have appreciated our coverage. Some of you have asked if this is the best time to pin blame. We say yes, because China is hard at work to erase all traces of culpability. China must be called out for its criminal negligence. Now, let me be clear. We are not in any way blaming the citizens of China. Our sincere sympathies are with them. They have paid a heavy price for the lapses of the Communist Party. And there are many in China who agree with this. Even a faction within the Communist Party, you heard that right, critics in China's ruling party, which you can say is China's only party, the Communist Party, are questioning the president. An anti-Xi Jinping bloc has surfaced. These leaders are unhappy with the president's response, so much so that they were ready to revolt. On your screen now is a message from the popular Chinese platform WeChat, like our WhatsApp. It has been floating around for a while now on the internet in China. This is an open letter. It calls for an extraordinary meeting of the Politburo to assess Xi Jinping's performance. The Politburo is a group of 25 individuals. These are the top brass who run the Communist Party, 25 people. This faction against the Chinese president wants to reflect on what they call Xi's wrongs. Evaluate whether Xi Jinping should stay on as the supreme leader of China or not. In the Chinese context, such an expression of dissent is very, very significant. Does this mean then that the president's leadership will be challenged? Will the Communist Party, can the Communist Party force Xi Jinping to step aside? Maybe not. Xi Jinping is the president of China and the chairman of all things. That's what the Chinese say. He has sweeping powers. He serves as the chief of the Communist Party. He is the commander of the PLA, that's the Chinese Army, the People's Liberation Army, PLA. He controls all the levers of power. He enjoys wide support among the political elite and he has systematically purged potential challengers over many years. In short, he's very powerful. But messages like these, like the letter that you just saw, at a time like this, do make a statement. It's not just the world that is angry with the Chinese president. Even members of his own party are unhappy with him. Xi Jinping is called the most powerful leader of China since Mao Zedong. But a backlash is definitely brewing. As we have reported before, China is pushing propaganda to keep its image intact at home. Earlier this month, Wuhan's top party official came up with a plan to, to please his political masters. He wanted to launch what he called a gratitude education program. Gratitude education. An attempt to force citizens to thank Xi Jinping and the Communist Party. Thank them for what? For their efforts to fight the coronavirus, believe it or not, this official had given a quote to a local newspaper. Let me read out from that. We must, through various channels, carry out gratitude education among the citizens of the whole city as well as cadres. So that they thank General Secretary, that's Xi Jinping, thank the Communist Party, listen to the party's words, follow the party's way and create strong, positive energy. This is unbelievable. When the crisis broke, the Communist Party looked the other way. When whistleblowers spoke in China, they were punished. Beijing acted too late. The outbreak in Wuhan has now spread around the world. But in China, party officials wanted a victory lap. No wonder the people were angry. They slammed the idea of gratitude education. And reports say that a journalist asked the local Communist Party official to quote-unquote educate himself. Faced with a blowback, Chinese officials did what they do best, cover up. The comments were scrubbed off the internet. The idea of gratitude education was dropped. The statement was removed from the WeChat account of Wuhan City. But the exercise unleashed the pent-up anger. And now some within the Communist Party may be ready to hold Xi Jinping accountable. Watch the space for updates.